mambo jambo familia angu habari gani karibu ni ambuni kwangu karibu uh, karibu eli ben eli kanisani familia angu uku vizuri okay okay uku uku vizuri nzuri a uh, no tomayo teni sawa 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 Asante asana for watching my channel and uh please help Babu Eli out. You know my my channel has stolen its growth because many people are looking at old Babu Eli and are saying to themselves, This man is a flip flopper. I am not a flip flopper, let me correct that. What I am is a thinking man, okay? And a thinking man is always reconsidering what he believes and is always reconsidering how he acts. Uh, I have reached a conclusion. <laughs> Babu Eli has reached a conclusion, my brothers and sisters. I have figured out who Sir Edward is. I have figured out who Sir Edward is. I had a eureka moment where all of the pieces came together. And I, right away, I figured out who it is. However, A.M. Carroll, A.M. Carroll has nothing on me. I will develop the patience of a A.M. Carroll. She says that she's willing, willing to wait a long time to make sure that she has all those other receipts. Personally, I am an instinctive man. I don't count on, on having receipts. Okay? I count on coming to the right conclusions and then formulating a, a plan that makes it plausible and thereby negates the necessity to function like a like a bookkeeping grocer. Ooh, receipts, receipts. <laughs> Familia Angu, please like and subscribe to my channel. My channel, you know, uh, they came for me. They came for me, and they're trying to get at Brother at Babu Eli, but you want to know something? <laughs> They don't know Babu Eli. You know, I, I, I've been in difficult part of situations before. Here I am. Where are they? You know, I, I believe I have come to realize the connection in between Miabo Hanse and Sir Edwards, the imposter. I'm calling him an imposter. Beloved Familia Angu, there is no such a person. In fact, he is a fictitious person. He is what's called a straw man. And a straw man who was created with the intention of destroying fellow the boy. However, these, this is a hypothesis. Until I have further evidence, this is an evolving hypothesis. Until I have further evidence to substantiate what I'm saying, I will simply put that out there. I think in due time, fellow the boy will be cleared. Okay? Maybe not exactly cleared, but at, at the very least, we will show that a trap was set for him. Okay? I... I I don't know how many of you have heard of a character called Robin Hood in English literature. Robin Hood. Robin Hood was a, a outlaw with a heart of gold. They're people that want to do good, but at times they make mistakes. But some of the time, some of the time, the mistake that they make is that they fall into a trap. I think in time I will I'll be able to substantiate this. Please, uh, brothers and sisters, support Babu Eli's channel. 
And uh, I thank those of you who have stood by me during this difficult time. You know, they're people, they're people that are fanatics. They adopt a certain train of thought. They adopt a certain train of thought. And nothing can, they're like Captain Ahab in the, the novel called Moby Dick. They cannot be swayed from their path once they come to believe something. Me, I constantly evolve my thought patterns. You want to call me a flip-flopper? Go ahead and call me a flip-flopper. As I said, I don't particularly care what people say about who I am or what I am. I'm not a flip-flopper, however. I am a thinker. And I'm going to tell you something else. Most of you are playing checkers or what in former British colonies is known as draughts. Others think that they're smarter, like the, the false Sir Edward that's out there. They think they're playing chess. I play neither checker or chess. I'm not playing at all, and I will uncover the truth. I don't know how long it will take me, but I will uncover the truth. You know, I, I see that uh, a young man, Burundian traveler, is beginning to build a house. That's very good. That's very good. You know, but I wish I could encourage him and a lot of these other Nyabohanse men, the 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 servants of the of the king of Nyabohanse who dwells in the Villa Medellin, the Frila Villa, the, the the ancestral chair of the of the Marwa clan of the Marwa Mafia. He who walks among the corn, he who said touches the cloud and whose feet touches the very bottom of oceans and rivers. Of course, I'm talking about the, the Capo de Tuticapo, Candotieri de Candotieri, King of Kings, Emperor of Emperors, the great Punjab himself, the great uh, uh, Marwa, the son of the East, son of the West, son of the North, and son of the South. <laughs> what does that mean? It means absolutely... Let, let, let me explain something about that. What does that mean? It means absolutely nothing. It is gibberish. Okay, a lot of the time, people that are very egotistical, what they're saying is a lot of gibberish. You know, I have no ego. One of the things that I, I figured out was, as hurt as I have been, by, by how many false-hearted friends turned their back on Babu Eli, how many people who I thought were my familia Angu, my uh, tribe Angu, who were part of the nation of Babu Eli, part of the, you know, Kanisa Abu Eli, or Babu Eli, you know, how many people have turned their back and abandoned me? There's a song here from, I believe it was the 70s. You abandoned me. Love don't live here anymore. That's how I feel about some of them. But, you know, they. I also leave the door to my heart open. They can come back. In the meantime, as to those of you who have hung in there with me, I have one thing to say. Malaika. Nakubenda, Malaika. I love all of you. You're my Malaika, my Malakim. And uh, I just, just bear with me. You know, there are problems with this channel. I'm not the kind of man who's in a big rush. You know, there's something that I was once told. Never be in a hurry. Those who are in a hurry and get very far quickly are the first to quit. Me, I'm not a quitter. I confess that recently I have been feeling a little bit downcast and a little bit sad, you know, because I saw somebody who I really respected take a great fall. But I don't know. 
I come to realize that love those who love you. You know, there's so many of you out there who have in your own small way tried to be of help to me. Okay. And I love you for that. But then you have people like fellow the boy. You know, I have basically 99% of what I say about fellow the boy is very kind and loving. Fellow the boy has never treated me as a friend. I consider myself his friend, but is he a friend of mine? And the answer to that is, eh, not so much. And then you look at somebody like Marwa. Again, this addresses this rubbish that people are saying about me being a flip-flopper. I have a lot of criticisms to say about Mara, but Mara has never spoken badly about me, and Mara never ignored me. You know, maybe now people have persuaded him, or he has come to believe that I'm not a, a real friend, and uh, I don't know what to say about that. A real friend is not somebody who tells you what you want to hear. A real friend is somebody who looks at you and tells you the truth. In uh, American culture, we call that being a Dutch uncle. A person who tells you the truth and is honest with you and criticizes you, not out of cruelty, but out of love, you know. I, I'm not going to mention her name because I don't know whether she will want me to to mention her name or not, but uh, a person reached out to me and, and said hello, uh, Babu Eli, and she was talking about being Maasai. And uh, folks, I have a confession to make. I deeply, deeply love the Maasai. You know what I want more than anything? And I'm not saying this because of, I'm not trying to beg or anything, but I would love to have a, a, a red sukkah, a red and black sukkah, and some Maasai jewelry for men. I already have a rungu. Not the rungu that I was born with. <laughs> I have a rungu that was given to me by uh, a Maasai lady who I met. And when I met her, I was like, wow. A real Maasai woman. You know, I mean, as you know about me, I happen to love very dark women. And this woman, see, this woman had it all. She was dark. She was skinny. She was tall. I was like, wow. I met kissy women that were like that. I also met Lua women that were like that. And I really, really, I liked them a lot, you know. But thank you, Madame. You know who you are. Thank you for reaching out to me. Babu Eli has not been feeling very happy. Babu Eli, you know, it's on top of everything else. Uh, I attempted to celebrate the new year. I bought certain foods. I had cakes and drinks and everything. And I had a wonderful new year, but I ate something, and my stomach felt like if I, when I went to sleep that night, my stomach felt as if I had swallowed a snake. It was hurting, and I was like, oh, man, I need to maybe get up and drink some water. And then I became violently ill, and I had a bowl nearby that I used, but it was kind of scary, but I feel better now. I, I have been, uh, it has been a very quiet and, you know, I love these holidays, you know, but uh, when people went for me and everything, it kind of saddened me. But you want to know something? I'm a survivor. It doesn't matter. Some people have befriended me, and I I hope that they, uh, they refriend me. I hope that I have more people come to my channel. I call out to the Luos, I call out to the Kisis, I call out to the Kurias, and I call out to the Maasai. You are all tribes that I deeply love, and I love all of the tribes of Kenya. Don't get me wrong. I am without a tribe. 
unless you consider me a, a, a member of the, tri of the tribe of Joseph, a member of those whose family sold them into bondage, you know, but uh, I'm in a good place. And the thing that has made my heart feel good was hearing from the Maasai, hearing that message that really touched me, you know. Even at my age, sometimes a man can ask, where is my place in this world? Who loves me? Who cares about me? And uh, I know that there are people out there who love me. Folks, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please like. Please share. You know, speak from your heart. I don't like phonies. Don't tell me what you think I want to hear. Tell me what you... Tell me what's in your heart. Tell me what you're thinking. This is important to me. You know, uh, I I had an experience that I found very, very interesting. I was talking to some of my relatives on New Year's Day, and they attempted to start a discussion about the Bible to proselytize for me. And I had to get out of it. Why is that? You know, I'm beginning to realize, well, I, it was something that I realized years ago and when I walked away from Christianity, and that is that there are a lot of ideas that people believe that I do not agree with. But even though I walked away from Christianity, I always have had a respect for men who call themselves, who call themselves, who call themselves men of God, even if they aren't. And right now there's a gentleman by the name of Bishop T.D. Jakes. His church, his Kanisa, is not that far from my home. It's one of the biggest Kanisas in Dallas. You know, and uh, now he is being linked into P. Diddy, a member, a man who's a very wealthy, powerful businessman who is also supposed to be a member of the A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P L B G T Q whatever community. I don't know whether he considers himself that, but that's how people see him. And people, it's becoming clearer and clearer that Bishop Jakes is Bishop Fakes. You know that he's involved in all of these behaviors, which presumably are unacceptable to his church, but he's still doing it. And, uh, you know, there's a young man, a congressman from the South Bronx Congressional District. His name is Richie Torres, Congressman Richie Torres. And you want to know something very interesting? Congressman Richie Torres is, is gay. But you, you want to know something? I did not hold that against him, and I still don't hold that against him, and I'll tell you why. All of us have ways and things that we do in life that others may not approve of. Excuse me. The thing that I respect about, uh, about Congressman Torres is that even though he is a congressman, he's very honest. He doesn't lie. But recently, since October the 7th, he's been doing something which astonished me. You know, uh, as many of you know, I practice what I call Judy Islam, which means that I practice, Christi uh, I practice Judaism and Islam. I consider myself a Jew. I also consider myself a Muslim. And... Uh, how many of you have had little brothers and sisters or friends? When you see two people who are friends or who should be friend fighting, you go over and you create peace. You don't encourage one to destroy the other for political reasons. And that's all that Congressman Torres does. He talks about, you know, destroy, uh, destroying. In effect, he talks about destroying the organization of Hamas. I have no views about the politics of uh, Hamas or of Israel. 
politics are politics. I do, however, feel that neither Hamas or Israel should be engaging in the killing and bombing of men who are uh, old and infirm, such as Babu, uh, Babu Eli, or women and children. That's inappropriate. Congressman Richie Torres has no problem with that. And that's why I'm really, really praying to Allah that he be voted out of office. I don't want to see somebody like that in government. You know, but uh, enough about politics. My brothers and sisters, I love each and every one of you. I hope you have, are having a wonderful new year. I hope you had a wonderful Kwanzaa. And uh, please continue to support Babu Eli. Please do me, do me a favor. You see this right here? This is one finger, two finger. Use it to smash that button. Please help my channel to keep growing. There, there's a saying in English, okay, the seed of a, of an oak tree is the acorn, and the acorn can be very small, but people sometimes say, from the tiny acorn, the mighty oak tree grew. My channel is small, but so long as you people support me, those of you who support me, so long as people befriend me, my channel will grow. And I'm not running around asking any powerful YouTuber to support my channel. I'm my own man. I, I'm i like an eagle. Eagles fly alone. I'm not a part of uh, the reactors. I'm sympathetic to them. But I'm a commentator. I don't... This obsession that they have with... Ooh, Receive, uh, you know, fine. Okay. I I used to be a, a great admirer of theoretical science and the great scientists and the great thinkers. All of those people deal in hypothesis, and a lot of the time, their theories are not necessarily founded by by facts founded upon the basis of facts. Some of them are, but some of them aren't. You know, and uh, I don't think that great ideas require that kind of foundation. I don't think that mediocre ideas require that kind of foundation. What they require is that one be logical and that one think about what one is saying. Okay. Small minds, no offense to my my uh, fellow, the people that I like on here, many of whom call themselves reactors or lazy guys, no offense to you. But small minds become obsessed with minor details. I urge all of you to grow beyond that. In the meantime, Familia Angu, once again, I urge you to go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share, comment, you know, uh, just help this channel to keep growing. And pray for pray for Babu Eli. You know, I in a few more months I'll be having another birthday. And, you know, Alhamdulillah, I will reach that birthday. Alhamdulillah, I'll see many many more birthdays. Subhanallah. And Ya Allah. You know, I uh, I didn't know that Allah would bless me with these years that He has blessed me with. You know, there was a time when I lived a life that led me to think that I would be dead as a young man because I lived a very dangerous life. But yallah, I'm here. Alhamdulillah, I'm here. Masha'Allah, I'm still here. And uh, I don't know. I'm very grateful that in His infinite mercy, Allah has allowed me to live to see 2024. I didn't know that I would be reach this beautiful, wonderful year. You know, and uh, stay blessed, stay in prayer. Keep me in prayer, and I will keep you in prayer. May Allah be with you. Quietly.